Hello everybody! Welcome back to another doll video! A lot of people have asked about my accent, where it is from, you know, things like this. And it is from Belarus, which is somewhere over there. And I start, like always, by sketching her eyes, her nose, her lips, her eyebrows, her ears, her nose, her lips, her eyes, and her eyebrows, and her eyes. If you visit my channel before... What is going on there? But don't look like me, look at you, you look ridiculous! Are you not trying to steal my nose, my dear? No, 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 I don't know. It's... I'm going to send my lawyer to you because this is just unacceptable what is happening on YouTube community nowadays. It's just unacceptable. Well, hello everyone and welcome to my new Dory Paint video. As you could notice it already, of course, there is something very strange is happening on my channel today. And this is all because of two extremely talented drag queens, Nova and Olympia, who have watched lots of my videos and then they've decided to become me. <laughs> the result of it you can see on their YouTube channel and I can honestly 100% recommend you to go there and to check out their parody because it's really extremely funny and me personally, I just don't know how I'm going to pronounce Mr. Super Clear Sealant in the future because right now I just have Olympia's voice in my head saying it with my accent. So I will put all the links to this video in the description box under my video. And right now it's finally time for me to do my part of this collaboration. And today we are going to make the very first drag queen doll on my channel. It's going to be exciting so and I'm especially proud to make it as a part of this very cool collaboration because Nova and Olympia they're very popular British drag queens and they perform under an artistic name Novimpia so today we're going to kind of melt different features from both of the girls from something from Nova something from Olympia and we're going to make like a real embodiment of Novimpia. So I'm going to start working and you please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm playing here with dolls every week Friday. So subscribe, hit the bell button and I'm going to start the transformation. As a model for this complete modification, I have chosen this male Monster High doll because I think this doll's face looks a little bit like Olympia out of drag. And the biggest challenge here is to remove this green cap. It's been glued to his head and this kind of glue you cannot really melt with high temperatures. But I will anyway use my hair dryer like always. Just, you know, never lose your hope, but I know it will not help me at all. So you can see that this warming up did absolutely nothing exactly like I expected. So right now I'm going to remove this thing in the middle of the head. And you see, now I've got an access to this empty space between the hat and the cap. So now let's just try to remove this cap as gently as possible because in some places the glue is much stronger and I even need to help myself with the knife. So this is how it looks, there are some scratches of course, but I can remove them by using sanding paper. And then I want to try to fix the hat using this sugar material, some of you have recommended it me in the comments. 
So let's check if this thing is going to work because all other kinds of clays and sculpts that I know they don't want to stick to this kind of rubber like this rubber hats or they would fall off easily if you squeeze the head a couple of times. So let's see if this material gonna work, at least you said so in the comments. Let's test it. I will let it dry for 24 hours and now let's work on the body because I'm going to transform it seriously today, of course. My goal is to make all these boys' body shapes more round to make it look more like a woman. This doll has already very active breasts, so I don't know if I should add even more. Maybe I should just draw the shapes like many drag queens do, but I don't know, I will decide it a little bit later when I see it in the outfit. So this is what I've made and now I will let it dry also for 24 hours. And after this I can sand the body to get a very smooth surface without bumps. The next step is normally covering the body with a couple of layers of acrylics, but today I'm going to change our routine a little bit and I'm going to start with the outfit, because I will need this body for it and I don't want to scratch it after it's got perfectly painted and blushed. And you know all this world of drag, it makes me feel extremely creative, that's why I don't really want to take one of their existing outfits and just simply copy it in a smaller size. But I want to take one of their like concepts of their more joke outfits and I want to push it a little bit farther. And I'm talking about giving a new life to this outfit made out of CDs. I think it would be really fun to try to make something like this in a tiny doll size and in my case, in my situation, I have to recreate the CDs as well. So let's start and I'm going to use my beloved warbler material today again. It's by the way a little bit different warbler than usually. It's called, it's not warbler, it's called Tibra. <laughs> So it's the same, it's thermoplastic that becomes very soft when you warm it up and then it becomes hard again, like this regular hard plastic. So first of all I'm starting with making a basic corset. Then I'm making a bunch of mini CDs. And then I'm attaching the CDs to the corset.
and it looks really nice to me. I just think I still want to add some volume here, you know, in the breast area, then the bra will look just stunning in the end. And now let's get back to the corset. First of all I'm going to cover it with silver acrylics and then I will add all kinds of glitters on top to make my corset very sparkly. And I needed to try really a couple of different glitters to get a super sparkly end result. And then to the sides of the corset I attach a couple of ribbons to be able to connect the parts together. And to the sides I want to add still some extra decoration using this black mesh because, you know, there is always place for something extra in drag queen's outfits. And I also want to make a pair of long boots with high heels for my future queen using the same warble material. Or it's not warble, it's tilbra. <laughs> Okay, now it's been already 72 hours past since I've applied this Sugru material to his head and after 24 hours it was just as soft and as wet as in the beginning. And even now it's still not really hard. But the worst thing is that it doesn't stick to the head at all. The same like all other sculpts, all other clays. Look, I could just peel it off just in one move approximately. So, nope. 
This moldable glue is pretty useless for this and it also takes extremely long to dry. I've lost three days on it, really three days. And the packaging says to wait for 24 hours. So I will simply hide this situation on the head with a week later. And now let's finally remove his original face with acetone and spray it with Mr. Super Clear because it's finally time to start drawing the face. Otherwise I just will be too late for the deadline and there will be no video on Friday, so I better hurry up. So let's first sketch the eyes and the eyebrows, draw the nostrils and the line between the lips and then I will start contouring because contouring and highlighting they're very important in drag queen's makeup and it really helps to reshape a face. And for the eye makeup I'm going to borrow this Nova's look because I absolutely adore these neon colors. It's so pretty and so trendy nowadays and I can finally use my bright neon pencils. I've never even used some of them before. So now when the face is done I can finally finish up the body and first of all I spray it with a couple of layers of light nude acrylics, then I seal it with Mr. Super Clear sealant and after this I blush it with soft pastels. So and now it's time to make a wig for my doll and I'm going to use this picture as a reference because I really love this teal hair color and I really love the hairstyle here with these two horns. So I'm going to start with turning this yarn into hair. You know this process very well already of course if you watch my videos sometimes so I will not explain all the steps very detailed today.
So this is our week and now I still want to take a little bit of soft pastels and I'm going to make the roots darker like we can see it on the picture. Now I still want to attach the false lashes and add glossy varnish to horizon lips. Now I think we can put everything together, you see I've made here also a pair of tights for my girl. And this chain I'm also going to put around the corset as a decoration. And are you ready for the end result pictures? So here is my drag queen of Vimpe in her full glory. I don't know, she's probably more a transgender woman, of course, because there is absolutely no way to turn it back and to get this girl out of drag. But she looks gorgeous and this is the most important. I also think this is probably the most dramatic transformation on my channel. I would never be able to say which doll was used for this transformation if I just saw the end result like on Instagram somewhere and I didn't know the complete story. I think I'm going to send this doll to Nova and Olympia as a gift. I really hope they're going to enjoy it. And now guys, I'm ready to listen to your thoughts and opinions. What do you think about this transformation today and there is also another question since I'm going to make more drag queen dolls on my channel because I think it's really fun I think we should choose someone from the RuPaul's Drag Race to recreate in the doll form so I would love to hear some ideas some suggestions from you who are your favorite drag queens So, and that was my doll transformation of the week, guys. I really hope you had fun with me today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel if you are new here. Hit the bell button. And I will see you already very, very, very soon. Next week, Friday, we are going to transform more dolls here. Love you guys. Have a fantastic weekend. Bye.